Yeah, buddy! Oh shoot, he's coming this way. Oh no, 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 no! Oh shoot! Moving. <laughs> You're trying to get on the boat with it. Oh shoot! Oh my gosh. Oh, that was ill-advised. Today, you're gonna witness something that's most likely ill-advised. We're going for big game today from a kayak, specifically thresher shark. That's why it's gonna be ill-advised. But really the toughest thing is gonna be bringing it to the boat. We wanna make sure that that fish is really tired because half the body length is all tail. And they use that tail to stun their prey and they'll swim back around and eat it. So that's a long tail. That's basically a weapon. And their skin is like sandpaper. It's kind of nerve wracking. All right, got my bait. Just some good old mackerel that the, the halibut turned down on the last trip. <laughs> basically gonna make some chunk bait. Thresher have somewhat small mouths, so. I think that'll be good. Yep, about that size. Two ounce weight, simple Carolina rig. It's not too complicated, which is good. And then here's the business end. It's gonna be a long leader, all 80 pound test. And then from there, I'll put a balloon on it to keep it suspended, hopefully like 10 feet down. What? You see it? 100% Mario just saw a thresher shark. Here we go, boys. Did you get a good estimate on the size or not? Nah? No. Oh boy. I'm a little excited and scared at the same time. 100% shark. 100% shark? Oh shoot. What color balloon should we go with? Let's go with the yellow one. Just enough to keep that two ounce sinker suspended. Put it up the line a little bit. Here's my 5-0 circle hook. Get right there. Just like that. All right, <laughs> we're sending it. Jeez, what am I doing? Is this really what I'm doing with my life? Yes, it is. <laughs> oh, shoot. Mario, aren't friends supposed to talk each other out of this kind of stuff? No way. No way. <laughs> Oh, that's a thresher. That's a thresher right there. Is that tail? Yeah, that's a small one though. That's a small one. It almost feels like something epic's about to happen. There's marks at exactly 10 feet. That's where my bait is in terms of the water column. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh, I'm getting bit, I'm getting bit, I'm getting bit, I'm getting bit. Taking it, it's taking it, it's taking it. Tightening my drag. I got a fish on. I'll head back that way. There you go. Oh, he's there, he's there. There you go. There you go. Ooh! Airborne, airborne. Oh shoot, he's coming in too fresh. You guys on? Yeah, I got a thresher. I'm worried because he's not moving. He's not like expelling energy. And I got the circle hook on him, so I'm not worried. Hey Edward, you still on him? Heading over. Yeah, I'm still on him. Get it, Edward. Get this balloon off. Oh, he's a tiny one. Woo! If this is how a small one feels, I can imagine a, a nicer sized one. Taking you for a ride. Kind of. Oh, here he is, right here. That circle hook's definitely uh, the ticket, man. There he is. Man, we 
This is going on like a five minute fight, I think. No, maybe, how long? 10 minutes now? Yeah, maybe 10. Light action, man. 80 pound leader, five aught circle hook. There you go. Oh, I knew it. Well, heading your way. <laughs> you ever caught a thresher? No, first thresher ever. On a kayak, too. You need a secondary gaff. I got yours right here. I'm not going to gaff them. No? I'm going to let them go. Okay. After maybe another run. <laughs> of course. I don't know. I don't know if I should even boat him. If it seems super tired, I can get a picture of it. If this is a pup, man, we well, can't wait to get into those eight and ten, oh, yeah. ten footers. Getting you ready for mama. Yeah. Oh. That tail. <laughs> it's just that's the scary part is that tail. That thing, that's what it uses to stun its prey. So you know that thing hurts. Oh, that circle hook is perfectly in his mouth. 80 pound test. Should I bring him on? Yeah. Oh, that was ill advised. Got him, got him, got him. That circle hook, man, did the trick, guys. Is that an eater or what? First thresher shark on the kayak. Nah, not an eater. Okay. It's too small. All right, buddy. I'm gonna let you go, don't worry. I'm gonna let you go, I promise. All right, guys, last look at it. My first thresher on the kayak. Yeah, sick. So sick. All right, buddy. Catch you later. Woo! Oh, yeah, congrats, bro. That was dope, man. That was dope. Oh, yeah. Congrats. Oh, thank you. That's the circle hook right there, guys. That's the one that did it. And all you do is you leave your drag super, 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 super loose. And then when you see something's taking your bait, start gradually tightening that drag. And this, as it swims forward, pulls out of its mouth and then as it's moving forward, that tip catches the fish. In the beginning of that fight, I was a little worried because it was not expending any energy whatsoever. That was scary. I didn't want to bring him up fresh, but also I don't want to tire him out too much where they can't make it, but sharks are pretty resilient creatures, that's for sure. That sounded big. That sounded real big. Ooh, nice marks, nice marks. Oh, I'm hit, I'm hit, I'm hit. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Woo -hoo -hoo! I think we might have gotten our keeper. Nice! Oh shoot, he's coming this way. Oh no, 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 no. Oh yeah, shoot! Oh shoot! <laughs> no, 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 no. All right, whoo! Oh, that was nuts. He started coming towards me. 
I don't want to bring him up too fresh. I know. Yeah, he about jumped in your lap, didn't he? Bro. Oh. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, shoot. Dude, they move fast. Yeah, they do, bro. Dude. So fast. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, he's fresh, bro. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that's a, I think that might be a keeper. I don't know. <laughs> well, I lost my balloon. Yeah, man, he's fresh. Yeah. He's trying to hang out your boat. He is. Oh, he's got some length. Whoa. Dude, they turn on a dime. Bigger than the last one? Yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah. oh, dude. Are you tired yet, bud? Oh, that answered that question. Gosh. Dude. Yep. Yep. Yeah, buddy. The limit is two per person, no size limit. But that's your shark, second one off of the kayak, guys. Look at this tail, guys. It's like half its body length is all tail. Look at that. That's freaking wild. All right, guys, let's dis dispatch them and put them on ice. Yeah, beautiful fish, beautiful fish. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Thank you for the food. <clears throat> so I will gut him though. I'll gut him as well. Get make sure that no uh, none of that ammonia can leach through into the meat and into the skin because as soon as they pass away, all the ammonia starts to seep uh, within its meat. So we're gonna get him on ice after pulling its guts out. Shoo! All right, put him on ice. Since my wife's a pescatarian, coming home without meat is not an option. Tail's gonna have to stick out. You usually see a lot of pure fishermen fishing for these, but getting them from a kayak, it's, it's pretty fun. What's up, buddy? Oh, I'm bit, I'm bit, I'm bit. Yeah, he's there. He's there. He's there. He's there. He's there. Oh! oh! He just went airborne. Yeah. Carl. Yeah, we got aerial activity going on over here. Aerial activities. Dude, he's heading my way right now. Holy cow. I don't want. He's too fresh. He's too fresh. Oh, oh shoot! It's big! Oh! Oh! Dude, acrobatics! I need to put the brakes on this guy. Oh shoot, he turned around, he turned around. Dude, Carl! So Carl just called me, he's on the phone right now. Dude, it's a big one. Woo, it's a big one. All right, I'll call you back, Carl. Bye. All right, bye. All right, thank God for this instant reverse. I can back up. Oh, yeah, buddy. 
fighting on a dial alexa with the shimano travala oh that's a blistering round right there oh that's a big one that's the biggest one of the day so far i don't know i might keep this guy too that's some good meat they sell it at albertson's it's pretty expensive <laughs> dude thresher shark is so good yeah i i'm gonna keep him I think mainly because if my wife saw this video and she saw that I caught a bigger one, she'll be like, wait, what? You let that one go? Yeah, why didn't you keep the big one? I'm trying to pull him away from the pier. Oh my gosh. Oh, buddy. They're so fast. Oh. Oh, I'm just gonna chill a little bit. <laughs> oh yeah, nice fish, nice fish, real nice fish. Not as big as the one you caught, Andy. Of course not. Oh yeah. Fantastic. Oh. <laughs> It's going great. Oh. oh, my leader's all jacked up. Oh, wow, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful colors. That's my limit of thresher right there. Two fish on the kayak. Quick confession, today was actually supposed to be a bass fishing episode featuring Mystery Tackle Box. Got the box and everything, but the thresher shark option came up and no regrets. I ended up talking to Leroy and Monica on the phone after filming that last part and they decided to show up. And they did do some research and they got some really fun facts for you guys about thresher shark. Well, it's just initial facts, but hopefully it's facts. Um, that that tail is an absolute fish killer, that they do that tail swipe that we were watching some videos on it. Kill their bait. Uh, kill their bait anywhere from two to seven at a time, but sometimes more. Um, that that is The tail slap can be so strong that what did it say? It actually changes the molecules of the water can to hydrogen. The, yeah, that it's so strong sometimes that it can actually separate the molecules, yeah. you know, on, on some of the and tail slaps. And it's not endangered. These sharks are commercially harvested in California, and uh, um, these are one of the sharks that you really don't have to worry too much about uh, mercury poisoning. They'll limit your amount you want to eat per month or whatever, but it has a higher selenium content, so it kind of deals with the mercury. So, but still, when you consume it, you want to kind of keep it to a minimum. You don't want to eat it every night. But as a responsible fishery, we've never seen... I, I see where people catch them off the piers. I've never seen... <laughs> 
what you just did today I haven't seen I know it's happened but I've never seen anything like this in my life yeah. I've never seen one up close like this cool. so I can't wait until you open that up they already saw the footage and the footage that you guys already saw gosh that was just so much fun oh and look we're twinning yes you are I don't know who looks better. Not me, I got that. She does it better. All right, we're gonna fillet these these guys up, but let's get a weight. Let's get a weight on these things. What does it say, Edward? Uh, it says 18.4. 18.4. So we're about right. 18.5. Look at that all over the ground. By the way, this couldn't have happened without Leroy at all. And Ron drives back. Because. He came by with that 80 pound test like two nights ago. Yeah. And that 80 pound test definitely, definitely handled the Where's sharks the very well today. This is, I think this is a female too, because it doesn't have claspers. Just a nice chunk of meat right That's there. That's a pure tube of beautiful yeah. meat. So like, I imagine it's just like a salmon, right? Well, kind of similar. There, it doesn't have any more bones than any other fish. Yeah, you, know, you follow that cartilage. Yeah, that's all cartilage. The meat is so soft. It's it's not like a normal shark. It is like real soft. didn't know there was a, like kind of a second bloodline here. So this is educational because we you've never cleaned a shark like this before. No. That is a clean freaking steak. Yeah. You like that? Yeah, you like it. Get rid of that Some little fibrous piece there. No, I've never, I've never one. eaten Thresher. I've never caught one. I've eaten it and just because well, some of my know. customers Mm. The texture of this, I've never had Thresher Shark in my life. Mm -hmm. um, and, and everybody says it's always for sale, but I never thought to eat it. This, the texture, is just like if you had chicken breast, the most tender, mm -hmm. juiciest chicken yeah, breast you've ever had in your life. That's you what this is like. Does it make your stomach but cold? plus a little bit more tender. And the flavor and the juice that bursts out of it, just because you just did a quick pan sear, but it cooks all the way through, is amazing. Just to the tooth, and it's, I've never had anything quite like this. It's beautiful. All right, big props to Andy for uh, being a guide today. Victor, made it. Thanks, brother. Yeah. Right. Look forward to some island trips with this guy for yeah, sure. Right? And Carl, what happened? What happened? I don't know, man. It was right there. It was right there. <laughs> what can you do, man? I'm just glad I got on. That was fun. Yeah, you yeah. landed that thing. Yes, I did. You touched the leader. I did. <laughs> lifted it halfway up. Oh, yeah. I tickled his belly and everything. <laughs> <laughs> next time. Next yeah. time. Appreciate you bringing me out. You got it, brother. Mario was I'm like, what? Not. Balloon rig? I was a balloon? I didn't believe. I wasn't a believer, so what goes around comes around and, you know, I didn't get a fish today. Oh well. It wasn't even Next that. time. Well, I'll get it next time. Now I believe I know what rig to get. I didn't really plan on catching a shark today. I was going for halibut. Well, that's it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Click here for the Catch and Cook playlist. Click here for whatever YouTube thinks that you'll enjoy from this channel. And of course, click here to subscribe. We'll catch you guys on the next one.